this video will just give you an overview of the load balancer router by tp link the tlr 480t plus this is a load balancer router and it has five ports in total out of the five ports one port can only be used as a wan port one can be only be used as a lan port and the other three can be configured as per your requirements they can either be lan or wan ports i have been using this router for a year now and this router delivers an amazing performance so this is the admin page of the router the status page shows how many ports are connected i have configured four wan ports the first wan port is connected and the second is also connected the other two ports are disconnected right now if you go into quick setup it will show a wizard from where you can configure the ports the third option is the network here you can see all your wan ports and the ips that are assigned you can configure the up, the up speed and the down speed this is an airtel connection so the maximum speed that i have is 16 mbps and the upload speed is 1 mbps the second connection is also airtel it's also 16 mbps downstream and 1 mbps upstream i have disconnected the wan 3 and the wan 4 ports in the lan section you can configure the lan settings of your router you can assign the dhcp range plus the lease time you can also reserve ip addresses if you know the mac address of the devices that are going to use the router these are the mac addresses that are assigned to the ports of this load balancer this tab basically shows how much data each port is receiving or transmitting you can also do port mirroring, rate control, port configuration, port and C port statuses and ports for VLANs user group, you can create different groups and each group can have different users plus you can also view the complete chart here you can have NAT settings, traffic control you can also apply bandwidth control on these ports you can also apply session limits as per the group you can have group limits each group you can define sessions for the each group you have so if you have set up the bandwidth for the vans you can enable bandwidth based balance routing this will make sure that the data transmitted for each van will be in the ratio to the down speed of that van so if van 1 has an 8 mbps down speed and the van 2 has 16 mbps down speed and you consume 3 gb in total then the load balancer will take 1 gb of data from the van 1 connection and the 2 gb of data from the van 2 connection in this area you can basically configure the load balancing router in the failover mode so if one connection goes down it will automatically start taking data from the second connection there are five, many firewall options you can also enable mac filtering access control you can disable some urls you can disable some applications basically this router lets you do everything you can also upgrade your firmware that's it for the introduction of the router in the future videos you will also see how you can enable load balancing or set your router in the failover mode thanks for watching